Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. My name's Laurie Matthews, if you're new here, hi, welcome. So today's video is actually um, something really personal to me um, that I've decided to make this video about for many reasons which I'll get into throughout the video. Um, but basically, um, three years ago I had a nose job and this is something that I kept to myself, only my close friends and family knew. Because when you're honest about things like that on social media, you usually do get a lot of backlash and I just found that keeping it to myself would be better for my mental health and just better overall. Anyway, so rewinding back to three years ago, it was 2017 in June. Um, I was always insecure about my nose from I think probably about the age of 16 I always felt my nose was really big and it was more like a wide nose it wasn't big in terms of a hump it was just sort of wide didn't really have any shape um, it was just kind of like a button nose but it was like quite a big wide button nose didn't have any definition and I used to think oh like I, I really hate my nose it was so squidgy to touch and um, it's something that I've always wanted done um, and I didn't really think I would definitely do it in life. I wasn't 100% sure until I decided to obviously choose makeup as a career, being a makeup artist, and I decided I wanted to start doing makeup tutorials on YouTube. Um, and then I thought, oh my God, like I need to be perfect and like I want to get my nose done. And then I remember thinking at the time, if I get my nose done, I'm gonna be so much more confident, I'm gonna feel so much better about myself. I just thought it was gonna be the answer to all my problems and it was just the thing that I needed to boost me and put me in the right direction. So I think um, as soon as I jumped into the sort of makeup world, obviously you're doing a lot of young girls' faces every day and you're seeing a lot of really beautiful people and you're making other people look beautiful. So I would say it almost make, made me a little bit more insecure with my own flaws. So I would say that that rushed me into getting a nose job um, so basically I decided I'd saved some money and I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna do it I'm gonna finally actually do this thing that I've spoke about for years and um, obviously I had no idea what to do no idea who to who to go to so I discovered this website called Real Self where I read a lot of um, reviews I read a lot of people's stories saw a lot of photos um, but I still felt really clueless because on Real Self it's quite confusing. I feel like there's a lot of people in America on it, in England, and obviously I lived in Scotland, so I didn't really know who was good in Scotland. Um, and I didn't have a huge budget, like I had enough money to get it done, but I didn't have a massive budget where I could go travel to America or anything to get it done. So I asked a family friend and I got a recommendation for an ear, nose and throat surgeon. Um, so without even thinking, I just fully trusted the judgment of this family friend and thought, well, this man's like a really good doctor or whatever, he really trusts this person, so I'm just gonna go for it. So I booked a consultation with a surgeon um, and it was in Scotland. Anyway, so yeah, I jumped straight in and I booked a consultation with a surgeon. I think I paid like 150 pounds for the consultation or something and I went to the consultation and now that I've read a lot more stories about people and um, people getting rhinoplasty they do usually go to a few different surgeons to get a feel for who they connect with the most, who they like the most, who they feel the most comfortable with um, <clears throat> but that was not the case for me, I literally jumped straight in, I went to a consultation with this surgeon that I was told about and I didn't think to look anywhere else um, so I went to the consultation and I just told him that I wanted a slimmer nose, I just wanted my nose to be a bit slimmer, a bit smaller and more definition. Um, I didn't like that, it was so like wide on my face, um, I had no tip, I just felt like it was too wide and I wanted more definition and he made me so excited about the surgery, he was like right we're going to do this, we'll just, he basically explained to me that my nose, um, I used to think I had a slight hump on my nose right, but he explained to me that this is called a dorsal hump, so that's not, I think it's a dorsal hump, or maybe it's the other one, there's two different humps anyway. Mine was the hump that they wouldn't shave, basically the hump was where it was supposed to be, and the bottom part of my nose was a bit too low, and that's why it looked like a slight hump. So he explained to me that he would 
um, he wouldn't be shaving the hump to give me a cute curved effect. He would just be moving the cartilage from the sides round to build up the tip and then give me a sort of straighter nose from the sides and give me a bit more um, definition and a slimmer nose overall. He also told me he was going to reshape my nostrils. They were very round to begin with and now they are like slightly tear dropped. They're actually very uneven, um, but I will go into all the issues I've got with my nose in a sec. Um, anyway, so I honestly just remember being so, so excited at this consultation and I felt like I just wanted to book it like the next day. I thought, I don't want to wait, I'm so excited, I just want to get it done. Um, but anyway, I booked it, paid the deposit and my surgery was booked and it was about three months later or two months later, I can't really remember how long. I remember telling him like I want it as soon as possible and um, he basically got me in as quickly as he could. Now I know that that actual surgeon um, only does five cosmetic procedures a year. The rest of his work is with the NHS and is all to do with fixing uh, people who have got injuries to their nose or if they've got a deviated septum. Um, basically he fixes a lot of nose traumas and he only does five aesthetic cases a year. So I remember knowing that at the time and I thought, well this guy, he's clearly a very good nose surgeon um, so I just thought there's no way he can leave me with a nose bad, like there's no way. He obviously knows what he's doing, he's not stupid, he's not going to make me look ugly. Um, so I just totally trusted the surgeon and it didn't bother me the fact that he'd only done five, that he only usually did five cosmetic procedures a year. Um, I just didn't think it was an issue at the time. Now, thinking back, I would recommend anyone to go to someone who does it day in, day out um, because they're going to have a lot more experience when it comes to the face and what, what suits your face and aesthetically what is pleasing. Um, there's a lot of factors that come into um, a nose when it comes to suiting someone's face. If you go stick on a, a little tiny nose on someone's face, it's not going to look good on everyone. Um, but at the time I didn't know that. I was uneducated, unexperienced, inexperienced and I just was rushing into this because I thought I was going to look so much better. Um, so yeah, my surgery was booked and I remember I was with my ex-boyfriend at the time and we went to Miami and it was my 20 third birthday I think and um, I remember like that holiday I was really feeling myself I remember looking at the vlogs there's actually a vlog on my channel that I don't know if I've put on private or not I thought I looked quite good and I thought I remember at the end thinking do I need my nose done and he actually told me like you look really good right now like you look better than you've ever looked and then I just totally was like no I just shut down that thought and I was like no I do need it this is something I've been insecure about for so long I need this surgery and I'm not going to like change my mind and I thought I've booked it, I'm just going to stick with my decision and after that trip to Miami I remember the surgery was like literally around the corner, I think it was like the next week or something, it was very close to my birthday, um, my birthday's in May and the surgery was, I think it was like the 2nd of June or something like that um, in 2017. So I've actually got all the vlogs from this surgery, I vlogged the thing from start to finish but I never posted it because I didn't know if I wanted to share it because obviously, like I said, so much scrutiny comes from people being honest about what they have done in terms of plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures and it can be really detrimental to someone's mental health to read those comments and hear what people are saying and when your friends are texting you saying what the hell, you're crazy, this and that, it just can be really like disturbing so I decided I'm not going to share this, like I'm just going to keep it to myself for now and I'll maybe see if I feel different in the future. I'll, I'll always have the vlogs. And so yeah, I went to the hospital. I just remember being so excited and wanting to get it over with. Um, went in, got the surgery, came out, had the big cast on my nose. Um, I had absolutely no pain. Like so many people tell me that it's so painful to get your nose done. I had no pain at all. If anything, in the upcoming weeks, I felt maybe like a pressure on my nose, but I don't remember feeling pain. Um, saying that, they did give me cocodamol straight after I woke up from the surgery. So maybe that's why I couldn't feel the pain um, but I remember waking up straight away she literally put two co cocodamol down my throat um, but yeah I didn't feel any pain and my eyes literally swelled up my whole face swelled up they went black underneath and then I went home and um, 
obviously I had the cast on for a week in the house and obviously it swelled up under the cast and I've got quite oily skin especially my nose so like the oil was just obviously building up under the cast and I actually lifted the cast off so my cast kind of came off I remember I was just having to keep pushing it back on um, but it wasn't secure um, and I know that a lot of people say that you need to tape your nose and all that but my surgeon told me not to do anything like that. He told me don't take Arnica. Arnica is a bruising cream by the way. For those that don't know it's a cream that you use if you've got bruising. Um, <coughs> it breaks up the blood cells quicker to take the bruising away. He told me not to use that. He told me not to use nose tape. Anyway so yeah the cast was sort of like coming off my nose I remember. And the nose was really swollen. Um, I will enter photos to show you guys exactly what it looked like at that time. I felt like there was a little bit of nostril and a lot of nose which I felt like looked really out of proportion and I remember thinking like why does it look like that? Is he put too much cartilage around the tip to make it like like more projected out my face but I thought clearly it just doesn't look right because who's got like tiny little nostrils and loads of nose like coming out like like coming out the bottom like that. I just thought like it didn't look right but at the time, I didn't worry too much. I thought it's going to look nice when I take the cast off. It's going to look nice and slim. Um, it's going to suit my face and the swelling will go down in time. And they do tell you that swelling takes about a year or if you've got thick skin, it can take like two years um, to fully go down. And I've got thick skin, so I knew that my swelling was bad and that it was going to last longer than other people's, which is a major downfall, by the way, because who wants to wait two years for something to heal? But anyway... Um, so uh, I went a week later to get the cast taken off and I honestly, when, when that cast came off, I was absolutely devastated. I just remember straight away I wanted to burst out crying. I was trying to pretend that I liked it. He kept telling me like, oh, you're, you're swollen right now. It's going to go down. Your tip's going to come down a lot. Your tip's really swollen um, and all that stuff. And I just, I took a picture straight away and I'll put that picture in this video and it looks horrible. Maybe if I was born with a nose like that, I could learn to live with it. But see, when you're not born with a nose that looks like a certain way, it just looks so out of place. I truly believe that everyone's nose, except for my very small percentage who have extreme cases, I believe everyone's nose is su suits their face when they're born. Most people's noses are built to suit their face. I know this isn't the case with absolutely everyone, there's people that have extreme cases with massive humps and stuff but I truly feel like my old nose suited my face so much better than this new nose um, and I just remember seeing like that there was like an indent um, at one side coming into the down to the nostril and it was just really projected out my face compared to my old nose and um, my old nose was very it was very button nose so it didn't to have a lot of projection from my side profile it was quite it wasn't flat but it was a lot more shallow in my face compared to this new nose he basically <clears throat> to narrow the bones up here he had to break my nose and then pull them in like this so as you pull the bones in they give you more projection so my nose now comes out my face a lot more than it used to and to make it balanced he put all the cartilage here at the bottom to like obviously balance it out so my nose overall is a lot more projected out my face um, and I feel like I've got these nostrils here and then I've got so much nose I feel like there's about an inch and a half of nose after the nostrils when really it should only be like that so going from having a normal looking nose that was maybe just a little bit squidgy a little bit wide not a cute model nose but basically a normal nose so from going from that to then this that looks so weird on my face, I just look so different. It's like uneven, one nostril smaller than the other. He made my nostrils teardrop shape instead of round like they were before to try and make my nose look slimmer. And this one is pretty much round and this one's sort of teardrop but it's like collapsed here. So here there's literally nothing supporting that nostril so it's like collapsing in and I can't breathe as well out of this nostril and um, it literally just it looks horrible obviously. One other thing I noticed pretty much straight away when I got the cast off was that my scar was completely not put back together straight. It was completely uneven. Basically it was like there was a ridge so it's as if he put it back together like this 
and the skin was like hanging over at the top and I'm going to insert a picture to show you that as well and at the time I was like what the hell why am I not sewn back together normally why is it not even and I was panicking but I remember when I went home I think maybe a week or so later I called the doctor and I said listen I'm not happy like I feel it's so different my nose and one other thing I feel like the scars not being put back together properly the incisions not being done neatly and he was like you can come in and see me I actually sent him a big long email because I swear to god I was so emotional like I cried for I think two weeks straight so I wrote him a big long email basically explaining that I was devastated and I felt like I preferred my old nose and this wasn't ex what I expected um, and I just feel like it changed my face so drastically because of the swelling my eyes actually kind of drooped down the way and I remember thinking oh my god my eyes is actually one thing I really like about myself but this had now changed due to the nose and I thought is it because of the new nose my eyes look different or they look a different shape is it just completely threw my whole face like out of proportion um, so I was really upset like I honestly can't even tell you guys how upset I was and I remember at the time thinking wow what a stupid little twat I was jumping into something that's so serious um, and so scary and that it's literally in the middle of your face your nose is in the middle of your face and when you alter that your whole face changes and you look at yourself and it's not like you're looking at the same person it's a big big change and depending on how strong you are mentally it's not good for your mental health like it's really difficult it's a it's a massive change and it's a massive process to get used to it and to feel good about yourself again it's like looking at a different person almost so it is it's really detrimental to your mental health getting something like this done so like now that i'm older and i'm wiser um I always tell my friends or anyone that I'm speaking to about surgery or nose jobs, please do not jump into doing anything crazy because I regret it and I really should not have jumped into it. I maybe should have looked around a bit more and really got an idea of what I was getting before jumping in and just doing the surgery with the first person that I was recommended. Um, I'm not saying that the surgeon I had was a bad surgeon. I know he's an amazing surgeon. He didn't actually botch my nose. Like, it's, like there is obviously asymmetries up to my nose it's not completely even but I don't think he's completely f***ed up my nose to the point of no return saying that I've actually not ever spoke to another surgeon yet um, about it to see if it is f***ed up inside or if it looks messed up to someone else I haven't had a medical opinion of anyone else so I still actually don't know like an opinion on my nose but all my friends and family tell me there's nothing wrong with my nose and that it looks fine and it's all in my head and you guys are probably looking at me now thinking that I'm crazy and there's nothing wrong with it but hopefully you can understand where I'm coming from throughout this video and with the pictures I've shown you hopefully you can see the changes the drastic changes to my nose um that obviously made me feel really insecure made me look crazy and yeah I know I wasn't crazy I know my nose looked fucked up when I got that cast off um and in the weeks after as well um I think now my nose is actually it's been three years so obviously it has healed I, th <clears throat> I think when I look at the first photo, when I got the cast off, or sorry, when I first came out of surgery, my nose looked so small and there was no swelling because the cast was really tight. But over the week of the cast lifting due to my oily skin, my nose obviously swelled a lot. And I feel like my nose is naturally quite swollen. I just feel like it's naturally thick. Like I've got thick skin, that's just how it is. Um, so I'm never going to be able to get like the definition in my tip or like a little cute, you know, nose like that's just not what's going to happen for me but obviously I didn't know any of this at the time I thought that I was going to come out with an amazing nose that I was going to love but I also realised that maybe a skinny little pinched tiny nose doesn't suit everyone like it doesn't your nose suits your face and the way your nose curves and the way it's like it comes out your face it's all in proportion with your face and at the time I didn't appreciate that about myself and I didn't realise and yeah I was just dumb uneducated and I just jumped into it and obviously now this is something that I've got to live with for the rest of my life so I hope that the people watching this if you guys are considering a big surgery like this please be careful and think twice about it I've even got close friends that say to me oh like because you talk about your nose so much because obviously I'm so unhappy about it I talk about it all the time but how I want to get it redone um, and get it fixed back to like more like how it was before 
um, my friends always say like, oh, you're making me think there's something wrong with my nose. Like, sh I want to get my nose done. And I literally look at them and I'm like, shut the F up. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your nose. Like, it really annoys me now because now I know that it's, it's something that I should have really thought more about and took more time. The way you have to think about it is, and I didn't know this at the time, realistically, my nose that I had before was pretty much fine. I'm not saying it was perfect, but it was me and it was what suited my face. And this is what a lot of you need to remember is if you're not absolutely, extremely weird looking because of your nose that you're born with, do not get it done. Like that's literally my best advice. Although it wasn't perfect and it wasn't how some girls have got such cute little noses, it suited my face and it was in proportion with my face. Um, and it, it could have obviously looked better but you need to think about if it's something you can live with you need to balance the pros and cons if that surgery goes wrong can you live with looking worse than you do now or do you think that you can live with the way you look without taking that risk because I could have lived with the way I looked I could have lived with it it wasn't something I needed 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 to get done I was just trying too hard to be perfect and that's something that's so messed up about this generation and and I've fallen victim to that with Instagram and everyone looking so good all the time but realistically it is all filters and it's all face tune and it's not real so now I'm older I'm three years older than I was then I'm so much more wise and I've had a lot of my filler dissolved as well recently um, and yeah I, now I honestly would just love to just advise everyone to not be so silly like I was when I was younger and to think twice about getting these types of procedures done. Um, but yeah, I was gonna mention the fact that I did actually email my surgeon when I was really emotional and really upset about it. He got back to me and told me to come in and see him and when I went in, I told him about the things I was unhappy with um, and I told him about the scar being uneven and how it was like over, more went hanging over at one side and he literally just told me like, oh, it's gonna be fine, it'll heal properly. To this day, it is not healed properly and I knew that it wasn't going to heal properly because my skin's not going to move once it's, once it's been sewn that way, it's going to heal like that. So my scar has healed unevenly and it might be a minimal thing but it's not something I want. Like my nose didn't used to be uneven so why would I want to live with it uneven now? But obviously it's my own, it's my own fault. So that was obviously something that I need to live with and it is quite sad and hopefully if there's anyone younger watching or anyone that's thinking about getting surgery then you can take my experience as good advice and just be more aware of what you're actually doing and yeah it, it's basically it can really affect your mental health when when you do something and, and it doesn't go the way you want it so I would just advise everyone to be very careful when it comes to facial surgery. Now that I'm a bit older and I've went through all this, I now have realised that and I feel like I hate to regret things in life so I hate to say that I regretted my nose job because now look at how much I've learned and put things into perspective. I wish at the time that I just didn't rush into it. Um, but anyway, the reason that I have decided to do this video today, because obviously you're probably thinking well, you didn't want to post it about it three years ago when you were getting it done. Why are you doing it now in 2020? And that is because I'm actually going to finally be getting my nose fixed. So I'm actually going to be going to Istanbul because a lot of <clears throat> there's a lot of amazing surgeons in Istanbul for noses. I've looked all around the UK. I've literally been researching surgeons since 2017 and I've got albums upon albums on my phone of images and screenshots. Basically a gallery of photos of what I want my nose to look like and what it should have looked like um, after the first surgery. Um, if I could click my fingers and go back to having my old nose, I would. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm contradicting myself by getting it done again. I have booked my surgery. It's actually in three days. Saturday Sunday. Oh my god, my surgery is literally in three days. Like, how crazy is that? So, yeah, I remember literally after my rhinoplasty, I was looking straight away at when can I get my nose, when can I get this fixed? I can't live with this nose. This, this is just not me. A lot of people don't realise the struggles I've felt about my nose, and a lot of people tell me there's nothing wrong with my nose, but I think because I see such a drastic change and I know there's such a drastic change. So basically, yeah, I'm going to Turkey to have my nose fixed. Um, 
the things that I don't like about my nose and um, that's made me want to get it redone and by the way I literally remember researching surgeons straight away um, straight after I got my cast off I was looking when can I get this fixed the, first of all the scars aren't even that needs obviously fixed but that's I wouldn't say that's like number one thing I want fixed because that's not really that visible to other people and um, I just feel like it comes out of my face too much my side profile isn't as nice as it was before um, and this nostril's collapsed and obviously there's this bulbous big bit here don't get me wrong the thought of getting it done again and something going wrong again terrifies the absolute living daylights out of me and this is probably why I've waited so long to actually do it but I just know that um, I wouldn't go through with it again if it wasn't with a surgeon that I thought was absolutely amazing at noses and knew exactly what he was doing. And obviously I love the guy's work that I've chosen. The surgeon I'm going to um, in three days obviously does nose jobs literally day in, day out. Because the surgery is in Istanbul, I haven't actually met the surgeon yet. So the consultation is on the day of the surgery. Um, but I've been communicating through Serene Cosmetic. Um, Serene Cosmetic is a sort of concierge medical service. They have been absolutely amazing. Um, and the surgeon actually does advanced non, what is it called? Advanced closed rhinoplasty, so they don't actually have to make an incision. Whether I'm gonna get an incision or not because of my uneven scar, I'm not sure. I will need to discuss that when I'm there. But um, yeah, basically I just wanted to make this video because number one, I'm, I'm strong enough now that I can take the criticisms. Number two, I feel like I do need to share my experience to help other girls that might want to get their nose done or might think they've got something wrong with their nose when they probably don't. Um, so obviously I want to show you guys, like share that experience to see if I can help anyone else um, or stop anyone else from jumping into something or doing something they're going to regret. Number three, um, obviously now I am actually going to get it fixed. So that I will be vlogging and I'll be vlogging the whole process from flying to Turkey, to consultations, to the villa, the healing, everything's going to be vlogged for my YouTube. Um, so that was one of the other reasons I wanted to make this video now is so that um, obviously you guys understand why I'm doing it. Not going to lie, I'm a bit apprehensive and a bit scared. This is something that I've wanted to do since the minute I got the first cast off because I knew straight away I hated it. So now I'm finally strong enough to actually go ahead with it and I messaged Serene Cosmetic and they made the process so so easy for me and um, they've arranged everything I'm gonna get picked up at the airport and um, I've got the villa for a week and um, someone's gonna be cooking my food my friend Holly's coming with me she's gonna obviously help look after me and the whole process has literally just been an absolute breeze because I always think when you want to get some something done and um, you don't know where to turn who to go to like me, I, I literally jumped with the first surgeon that someone recommended because it was so easy. Because um, it is really hard and really time consuming finding a good surgeon and actually putting the time in to messaging them, getting the consultation and all that. It's a long process, it's very difficult and it requires a lot of research. Um, so I would say that Serene Cosmetic is the way to go if you guys are looking to have anything done. But be careful, don't jump into it. Don't go to someone that only does five cosmetic procedures a year. If you're going to get something done, go and get it done by someone that does this day in, day out. Um, so, <clears throat> someone that you trust, someone whose pictures you love, like you need to love absolutely all of their work. But my advice to everyone is, if you're going to go for some sort of surgery, take the time, do your research, don't rush into it. Serene so Cosmetic have literally made the process so easy for me, um, so that is why I have chosen them to do it. And I'm actually going to Turkey on Sunday, which is in two days. I'm going to be there for a week and my surgery is on Monday, which is only three days away. Obviously, this is quite a personal thing to me. I find it is a little bit difficult for me to share all this, but now I've opened up and I've shared it. I hope that I can help someone. If you, if there's anyone that's wanting something done, I hope that you just don't rush into it and you think about what you're doing. But yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's been such a long one. Please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And stay tuned for my upcoming revision rhinoplasty vlog, which will be posted very soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.